Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So my channel has mainly been about creating guides for people who want to start a new champion or are new at the game and trying to help them learn how to play a specific champion. That's good and all. But what about fighting against a specific champion? Sometimes there are champions that you just have no idea how to fight. Like having trouble with that Syndro just keeps like one shot on you. Zed, you know, coming over and just going. <laughs> or Yasuo being, you know, the... Yasuo, I guess. This will be the first of a series of videos giving tips on how to defeat some of the trickier opponents in mid lane. I'll mostly be focusing on mid lane and champions that are popular to play in the position because that's where I play. I play mid lane mostly. Now, that won't stop me from touching other lanes like jungle or bot lane and stuff like that. For now, it's just going to be mid lane. Now, Zed is one of those assassins that can be overwhelming at first if you don't know how his abilities work and how to kind of fight him, what his motive, what his goals are in the lane and what you should be doing to try to keep him toned down as much as possible. Now, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about his abilities, but here's a quick rundown if you forgot. His Q throws a pointy star knife, his W is Shadow Clone Jutsu, his E does a spin move, his ult makes him sound like a bad Disney villain, and it also makes him untargetable. That's about it. Now I want to start off with some important things to remember about Zed. He relies on energy. So if you have a secondary resource, you'll be at a disadvantage if you just kind of spam abilities and don't make each ability you cast count, meaning hitting them and landing on your target. Zed relies heavily on hitting with multiple abilities, either to proc a rune or regain lost energy, which we'll talk about later. He is most vulnerable after using his most important ability, his W, and especially if he uses it to teleport. Now, Zed, like any other assassin, wants to get early kills and snowball out of control. Assassins don't really have much else to them, really. Like, know your fucking place, trash. That's, that's their goal, right? They just want to get out of control and start one-shotting people. However, Zed really isn't a melee assassin. He's actually more like a mage, to be honest. He spends the majority of the lane phase trying to poke you down with his main combo, and then all in you with ult and or ignite. Now, pre-level 3 Zed will most likely leave you alone for the most part. If you're a mage or you have or like an aggro melee champion, like Pantheon, something like that, Viego, he'll farm with his Q and try to take some cheeky shots at you while also trying to, you know, farm. Try to avoid these shurikens as best as you can, paying attention to minions' health, and so most likely going after the lower ones. But if you can't avoid them, try to stand behind your minions. Zed's Q does significantly less damage when hitting multiple targets, so if it hits something else besides you first, it'll do like 50% less damage. Now, once he hits level 3, that's when you have to start paying a bit more attention. Usually, the trade poke combo for post 3 Zed is W, E, Q. Place the W on top of you, slow you down with E, and try to hit you with double Qs, with both the Shadow Clone and the Q, because while damage from the E doesn't multiple double with the Shadow Clone, the Q does. Now, it's most important to try to avoid getting hit by three of his abilities. One! Oh! Three! And also just the two, I mean, if you get hit by anything, try to get hit by one of them if you can. You know, just remember, if he hits you with two shurikens and an E, you're probably gonna get half health with electrocute and everything, and maybe all into level three. Something to keep in mind is that if Zed doesn't hit with an ability from both him and his clone, he does not gain back energy. That's the criteria for that passive. He has to hit with both Qs in order to get back his energy and give him more resources to use. So if you manage to dodge at least one of his abilities, Zed will have no resources to cast anything, and this would be a great time to either trade back or all in if he's weak enough. When Zed hits level 6, this is when you need to kind of do a little bit more thinking. Zed's ult is scary. I know. It's, it's you hear the, <laughs> you know, all that, and you just kind of go, what the heck, what am I supposed to do? You can't see him, he's invisible, and all I hear is death around me. Don't worry, I'm here to help you. The great thing about Zed's ult is that you know exactly where he's going to be. And after he casts, He'll always show up behind you, always. So if in a line directly from where he cast it, he'll show right behind you. This means you can queue up any ability that you need to, like a stun or something, right before he appears and always hit him. For example, if you're Zoe, you can actually cast your E half a second after he casts his ult and you automatically hit Zed as he reappears. What helps me is, in the timing portion of that is actually to time it around his laughter. It's usually like, oh, cool. thanks three-fourths of a second almost. He always laughs when he ults, so it's a good indicator for when we pop him back up. I know it's fun, it's it's silly and weird, but it, it's worked for me and it's helped me out a lot, so there you go. Take it for what you will. Now, most normal Zed players use the most common combos. So like the E, W, Q, or W, E, Q combo. That's the most common. And there are other combos, especially when he ults that are better and better Zed players use them as well. There's a lot more to Zed than just 
the W E Q combo, but this is just a general idea of how to fight him. I don't really know all the possible combos, to be honest, that he can attempt, but with practice and also looking up good said players on Twitch or YouTube, you can learn more from them and adapt the skills, the basic skills that I'm going to teach you here. Now our main goal in the landing phase is basically to avoid dying to Zed at all costs and keep track of him when he gets bored and starts to roam. Most assassins need to get early kills to be relevant after laning phase, and if all you can accomplish is focusing on farm and not dying, then you basically won the lane. Like, that's, it's, it's that simple. That being said, the opposite of this is a snowballing Zed who goes out of control and one-shots everyone, and then your team blames you for just feeding the Zed, and then it's mid-diff, and you're just like, oh god, I guess I should just you know, go back to support. But being patient and not panicking when you hear, ho 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 ho, then you pr you're pretty much golden. This also means not taking poor trades and trying to flex on your opponent when you're half health. I mean, please, just, just because the Zed is taking you off and making you tilted, just don't, just don't, don't bait. Don't get baited like that. You'll most likely die, ended up giving what he needs to get his first item, this Rated Dark, and just start accelerating out of control. I wanted to talk about some of the champions that are good against Zed before I talk about some itemization options you can do. Uh, any sort of melee champion that has low cooldowns and basically any sort of low cooldown champion with stuns and stuff uh, kind of beat the shit out of Zed. Garen's actually a good one because of his silence. It's also a stat tech, any sort of stat check champion, meaning like they just have really good stats without items. Uh, they scale pretty well in the early game. Garen's one of those. Camille's actually pretty good. Um, as far as mages go, Zoe, like I said before, is actually pretty good because all you really have to do is save your bubble and you don't have to like do anything. Zed will barely ever try to ult you. Again, when it comes down to the champions that you play, saving your CC for Zed is super important. Avoiding, you know, his, his poke combo is really important. It's the most important thing. And if you can avoid that and not die to him, that's, again, you basically won the lane. But picking a champion that also has some low cooldown CC is also important and saving it. Never, never, ever just throw the CC out for any reason other than to protect yourself and try to attack, you know, retaliate back to Zed. Now, now the last thing I can tell you about fighting Zed is not just, you know, fighting him because it's it's basically not, and it's not even just for Zed. Anytime you're up against an AD mid lane, please, 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 please build a Seeker's Arm Guard if you're having a difficult time. I swear. The amount of times I see a mid laner in low elo make a chain die to freaking Zed or Kiana or Talon and just... All they, they, they just buy Ludens. They go for, straight for Ludens or Leandries. It gives me less hope for the League community and humanity. And just just, just, just at this point, humanity's gone. No Seeker's Arm Guard. Now I know Seeker's Arm Guard has been nerfed a few times since the making of this video, but it's still a useful item to build if you're having a hard time, not able to dodge the abilities as well. And it does save you a lot. And it actually can save your life, basically. Once you have the funds, building zones can help you out immensely. Uh, although sometimes it's worth just hanging onto the Seeker's Arm Guard. It's mostly the armor is what you want, but the Zonias also have nice to have because of its past of its active ability. But that doesn't mean you should just use it willy-nilly. This is one of the biggest mistakes that see people make. When the Zed ults, you think, oh no, this guy's about to bake my buns. You don't want to just immediately Zonias as soon as you hear the ult. That is the biggest mistake, since the Zed can just wait for you to be finished and they just do what he needs to do. The Zonias doesn't last long enough to stop him from dealing a bunch of damage for you before his ult ends. As you're just holding it, trying to time it, to stop taking as much damage as possible, or if you've taken damage and the ultimate is about to pop and kill you, save the Zonias for the pop. That's the best you can do. And again, I, I can't stress it enough. Building an early Seeker, Seeker's Arm Guard for when you're having that difficult time can help you a whole lot in the early game and that allow you to kind of focus more on farming, not taking as much damage, not backing it often, and having the tempo that you need to kind of outpace Zed as he kind of starts to fall behind because he's not getting any kills. And that's about it. That's all I really had to say about Zed at this point. Format. I'm still trying to figure out the format of these of these videos. I don't really know what I'm uh, going to do. I'm doing a little bit of experimenting, but I want to start talking about these things like fighting specific champions because while I can tell you I can get you started on champions I also want to get you started on knowing how to fight certain champions I certainly have difficulties with certain champions and as I learn how to fight them I want to convey that to you as best as possible so that you can also take the time to practice and also help yourself again this channel is mostly about kind of all of us climbing together and learning more and that's the ultimate goal. And so hopefully this has helped somewhat. Please do give me feedback in the comments. I really do appreciate your comments. They really help out a lot. Also, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more guide videos like this or my other guide videos on, t on you know, finding specific, playing specific champions, I just put out a younger guide video. Do go check that out and hit the subscribe button to see more videos. Also, I have a Twitch, twitch.tv slash razzledaz. You can check out the links down below and also the link for the Discord if you want to join the Discord and hang out with us. I'm going to try to be, as more people start flowing into Discord, um, I want 
want to start doing some other event type stuff uh, for the future. But yeah, if you made it this far, I thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!